canto to the Saviour Divine. Twelve hymns glorifying Sri Nithai Chand, originally composed in Sanskrit by His Divine Grace, Sri Bhakti Rakak Shira Dev Goswami Maharaj, rendered into poetic prose by His humble disciple B. V. Mahayogi. To He who with unlimited manifest and unmanifest mouths utters the divine name of Hari in perfect sonority. To he who holds untold planets upon his thousands of heads, Earth and Venus and Mars, Bur Bhuva and Satya Loka, and countless planetary globes quivering like so many specks of dust borne upon his serpentine heads. To the first expansion of the infinite, who creates and sustains the divine environment of the spiritual domain with all its paraphernalia from beds and chairs to household items like clothes and umbrellas. To that infinite Lord and Antidave, whose expansions are unlimited, I offer my humble reverences. For it is he who is none other than the almighty Nityananda, who descends into this world as Lord and Saviour, to bestow the Gora Krishna avatar upon the poor and worthless souls of Kali Yuga. Worship him, adore him, the eternal Nitai. Worship his holy feet forever. Ananta's countless heads chant from beyond eternal Harinam and Sankirtan. Nichananda's almighty Anantadev. Sustainer of the universal wave who serves the perfect Lord in each detail and all of his regalia without fail, supplying even lavish seats and bed, where God himself may rest his holy head. O heart to Bhajan, worship Nitai Chand, who as an antidave acts from beyond to hold the cosmos in ethereal coils and bears this mortal earth with all its toils as if in a tiny mustard seed a crest, one of his thousand heads from heaven blessed, as all the while his untold mouths endeavour to chant the holy names of God forever. Worship then the moon of Nithai Chand, who gave Goranga to this fallen land. All hail the moon Nithai, who gave us Gore, the avatar of Krishna, gold as ore. Second verse. Listen. While he is by himself and for himself, the infinite, absolute expands himself infinitely. Listen. Beyond the infinite expansions of divinity that maintain and occupy the spiritual domains of Goloka, Mathura, Dwarka, and Ayodhya are the multi universes of Vaikuntha. Spiritual planets ruled by infinite. Vishnu forms. Those, divi divi those divine night entities are known as Vasudev, Sankarshana, Niruda, and Pradyumna. Listen. To fully grasp the Nichananda conception, we must understand the position of the infinite and how the infinite expands. The first expansion of Anantadev we have seen. Infinite divided by infinite is infinite. If an antidave is the first expansion of the Lord, a further expansion of that an antidave is known as Mahavishnu, the supreme god of universes. Now the creation. That Mahavishnu lies beyond the Milky Way. There are countless universes emanate from his misty glance. That glance is known as Shambhu. A myriad of souls showered forth as undifferentiated consciousness from his twilight glance, impregnating the dark energy of this material universe. The combination of penetrative glance and shadow potency, that seed of conscious life or holy lingam, enfolds within the yoni. Matter's sheet of all material components and mixed with space and time velocity, concentrates in singularity. Evolved within mortal relativity and thus creates 14 dimensions, from subtle, nearly egoless satyalok to conscious realms of ego-mind awareness, 
sentience, raw and simple being. Heavenly planes of higher consciousness, mental planes of moonlight lunacy, earthly worlds of passion and distress, and hellish world, worlds of darkness and ignorance, known as Bura Bhuva and Svarga Lokas. With all their myriad divisions in space and time, and since the infinite Lord has countless avatars, we conceive of him with countless heads and eyes, and thousands of arms and feet and toes and fingers. This hierarchy is given in Brahma Sanghita, and also in Kavaraj we see the following description. The thousand-headed Vishnu is the master of the Dakshai. First, Karna or Mahavishnu, he is called. Lord and master of all created universes, as we have detailed above. By this glance, the universe is pregnated and populated with souls, his living energy. Second, Garbodakshai, in whose womb the universe is sheltered with all its far flung galaxies. And last, the Paramatma, Shiro Dakshai. The Oversoul who guides us from the heart, and thus it is in poetry we say, Godhead Sri Krishna, infinite, supreme, expands as Mahavishnu who, in dream, envision, envisions worlds and brings them into being simply by, by visions, Maha, Maya, overseeing. And from his sight the cosmos without end evolves where spirit, time and matter blend. God animates the worlds with holy breath, residing deep within this world of death, as Paramatma, super soul within, to guide us to the light away from sin. Karno Dakshai is Mahavishnu's name. Siro Dakshai and Paramatma are the same. As God beyond and God within they reign, while Garbo Dakshai rules this vast domain. And so the infinite expands threefold. Three Vishnus keep the world within their hold. The overseeing God who dreams our being, the inner dwelling Lord within, all seeing, and God Himself, maintainer of creation. Three Vishnus who may guide us towards salvation are embodied in Nitai, who gave us Gore, the golden Krishna whom we all adore. Three Vishnus are as one in Sri Nitai, Garbo, Sir, and Karno Dakshai. Worship then the moon of Nitai Chand, who gave Goranga to this fallen land. More to follow. <laughs>